Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a very very easy PJ set making video. Like these pajama sets are super comfortable. I just love them. I love to wear them all the time. And today I'm going to show you how you can make this cute pajama set. Before starting the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also if you enjoyed this video, like it. Okay, so first I'm starting by making the pajama pant here. For the both pant and the shirt, I used 3 meters of fabric. Actually, I bought the fabric to make something else. Then I decided to make my PJ set. But I, you know, even if you want the length to be like mine, I still recommend you guys to, you know, buy half meters of fabric extra. As you can see, I folded my fabric. So this is the open side. And then I again folded my fabric. And make sure to keep the right side inside. Because on the outside, we are going to mark and we don't want to make our right side dirty so firstly I'm drawing a straight line of about half an inch the purpose of the line is basically just to make the fabric straight because we don't want like the fabric to be uneven on the tops now from that half inch mark measure your elastic and add half an inch and then mark suppose the width of your elastic is one inch add half an inch and mark on one and half inch we will fold this part later to insert the elastic now for this part whatever your full hip measurement is add four inches extra and then divide it by four and then mark it my full hip measurement is 34 i added four inch which makes it 38 inch and then i divided it by four so minus 9.5 so i marked here 9.5 inch after that whatever your full hip measurement is divided by four and then add two or two and a half inch extra so my full hip measurement is 34 i divided it by four so mine is 8.5 and i added two and a half inch extra so i'm gonna mark on 11 inch and this measurement you have to mark from that 9.5 inch that we just marked i drew line from every side and made it like a kind of box after that from that 11 inch mark i'm going to extend two inch extra from that 9.5 inch with that I just marked on the top and yeah basically with and with the help of this tool armhole thing I'm marking here you can obviously do it with your hand you don't even need this tool gosh I forgot to mention the length so I want my length of the pajama to be 34 inch so excluding the elastic band I marked on 34 and a half inch honestly telling I didn't even have like a lot of fabric so I was using very less fabric on seam allowance and everything for the bottom of the pan i'm marking on nine inch and then with the help of the leg curve tool leg curving tool whatever you call it i am joining from the crotch area to the bottom of the pan and then finally i'm cutting it out and also make sure cut the folded side the joint and make two parts of the pan separate So we are finally done with cutting our pant. Now let's move ahead to our shirt. First, we're making the back side of our shirt. So fold your fabric like this, only a single fold because we're going to make our front side later. I want the length of my shirt to be like 22 and a half inch. So I added one inch extra and marked on 23 and a half inch. Now I marked six and a half inch for my shoulder measurement. After that, I marked for my armhole measurement. I marked 7 inches below the 6.5 measurement and drew lines. Now let's mark our bust, waist and hip measurement. For the bust measurement, whatever your full bust measurement is, mine is 36 divided by 4. So mine is 9 plus 1.5 inch for losing because night suits are generally looser than our other clothes. So I'm marking here on 10.5 inch. Similarly, we are going to follow the same steps for our waist and hip measurement as well. So for the waist measurement, my full waist measurement is 32 inch. I divided it by four, it becomes eight inch and I added one and a half inch for losing. So I'm gonna mark on nine and a half inch for my waist measurement. And for the hip, my hip measurement is 34 divided by four is 8.5 and add one and a half inch for losing. So I'm marking on 10 inch and also I forgot to mention mark your waist 7 inches below from your bust measurement and mark your hip measurement 7 inches below from your waist measurement. I hope that helps. After that with the help of a scale connect all the marks and I'm making the armhole here using the armhole curve. Then add half an inch of sewing allowance on the side. Now our back piece is ready to cut. So for the neck width I marked on 3 inch and for the neck depth I marked on 1 inch and made a, like a round and cut it out. And 
from the armhole side lower your shoulder a little bit like half an inch and our back part is ready now let's cut the front side for the front part fold your fabric similarly the way we folded our back piece and now place the back piece on top of our folded fabric and please make sure on the folded side of our back piece when you are placing it on the folded fabric leave one and a half inch of space and then place the back piece and after that tracing the measurement of our back piece we will cut our front piece now i'm marking my front armhole i'm just adding half an inch depth to it for the front neck excluding that extra one and a half inch i'm marking on three inch for neck width and for the neck depth i'm marking on three and a half inch and i made a curve and finally i cut it out after that i separated both the front pieces by cutting the joint now cut two rectangular pieces and length should be equal to the length of our shirt and the width is five and a half inch now i'm cutting the sleeves i have taken two pieces of fabric and the length i want for my sleeve is six inch and the width is 10 inch on the bottom on the non-folded part mark on three inch and then on this side i'm marking on seven inch and from the top to the three inch i'm joining with a like curved line and then i'm joining this seven inch that i marked to the three inch i hope that is making sense i added half an inch of sewing allowance and then finally i cut it out the front side of the sleeves i'm cutting a little bit extra from the open side of our front piece mark two and a half inch on our neck and after that we are going to attach our piping i actually wanted to use the piping that like has a thread inside but at that moment i didn't find my thread so so i cut strips of the yellow fabric and then i joined all the pieces and then i folded it and basically made a piping i mean it will work because i'm just going to wear this at home so nobody is gonna see it anyway i'm attaching the piping on both of my front pieces i'm starting from the two and a half inch and attaching the piping all the way to the bottom after sewing the piping this is what both the pieces are looking like now we are going to take these rectangular pieces that we cut earlier and we are going to place the rectangular pieces on top of our front pieces we'll trace the neck and cut it on the rectangular piece as well we are going to make the piping like a sandwich between the two layers and sew it also make sure that right sides are facing each other After sewing we are just gonna flip the right side out and as you can see a clean finished piping is there here I'm double folding and hemming the other side of the rectangular piece now for this open part here on the top I'm gonna fold the top a little bit and then sew it on place starting from the top all the way to the bottom I'm gonna give a top stitch obviously you can do this step later After that take your back piece and place your front pieces on top of your back piece and then join the shoulders. After turning the right side out this is what it's looking like. Now we are going to make our collar. To make the collar first measure your neck. Place your piece like this and then measure to the point where the piping part ends. So as you can see my measurement is 8 inch then I'm gonna take a piece of fabric fold it like this so I'm marking on 8 and half inch I'm taking half inch extra for sewing allowance and for the width I'm marking on 4 inch Now I'm going to fold this and cut it out
from this side I'm marking on one inch and then I'm drawing a curved line and from here I'm marking half an inch and I'm drawing a line from this half an inch to the one inch mark after that cut the folded part and make two parts separate now I'm adding piping to one piece of my collar and don't add the piping on the curved part because we are going to attach that part to our shirt After attaching the piping on one piece of the collar, now take the other piece and place it on top of it and make the piping sandwich between two layers and then sew. Now turn the right side out and you have a finished collar and the piping is also attached properly. Now fold your collar and in the middle give a little cut on the part where we haven't attached the piping and then fold your neck and give a little cut and while attaching the collar match those cuts so that you attach the collar as evenly as possible. Now attach one part of the bottom of the collar to our neck and attach the part on which we haven't attached the piping and I pinned it and basically sewing it. After sewing this part, I'm going to fold the other part and basically cover the sewing line. Now let's work with our sleeves. I cut two strips like this and cut the strips according to your sleeves measurement. And then take your strip and place the piping on top of your strip like this and then sew it. And I flip the right side and give a top stitch. You can even skip this part. Now take your sleeve, place the wrong side of the sleeve upward and place the right side of the piping on top of the wrong side of our sleeve. And make sure that the right side of our piping piece is facing towards the wrong side of our sleeves. And then sew it. Now flip the right side of the piping piece and then give a top stitch here. Now fold the piping piece and sew it on the right side of our sleeve. And make sure this time the wrong side of the piping piece should be facing the right side of our sleeve. I actually lost the footage of me sewing this part but I hope you guys understood what I said. Now I'm going to attach the sleeves to the shirt and I'm folding the sleeves and giving a little cut in the middle so that I can match that cut and a seam on the shoulder and attach the sleeve as evenly as possible. After attaching the sleeves, this is what my shirt is looking like and I have to say it is looking pretty good. And I'm turning the wrong side. Now I'm going to sew both the sides together. After that, I'm making my pocket. I recommend doing this step earlier. Before I was like, nah, I don't want a pocket. And now I'm like, I want a pocket. To make a pocket, cut a square like this. I don't think it's a square. I think it's a rectangle. I don't know. Anyways, I actually don't remember the measurement of the pocket. Just eyeball it according to how big you want your pockets to be. And along with the rectangle, square, whatever mysterious thing, cut a strip of fabric. And then attach the piping to that strip of fabric like this. And I'm not adding the sewing part because I think the video will be way too long. And now place the other end of the strip of fabric to the top of our pocket. And the wrong side of the pocket piece should face the right side of the strip of fabric. Fabric. Then turn the right side of the strip of fabric and give it up. Now fold the strip of fabric towards the right side of the pocket piece and then sew like this. Now push the wrong side of the piping piece and sewing allowance everything inside and then give a stop stitch and here. cut if there is any excess fabric. Leaving the top side, we are going to fold all the three sides of the pocket. Now place the pocket on your shirt and mark where you want your pocket. Fold all the three sides leaving the top side and then sew your pocket. Here I'm marking for my buttonhole measurement. Between each button I'm keeping distance of 3 inches and from the piping side I'm marking on a little bit less than 1 inch away. I'm placing the button and marking the size of the buttonhole. With the help of buttonhole foot I'm making my buttonholes.
then I hand sewed the buttons in place. Obviously you can do this step on your sewing machine but I love wasting my time so I hand sewed my buttons. Now that our shirt is ready, now let's move ahead to sew our pajama pant. As we sewed our piping part on our sleeves and our pocket, we are gonna follow the same steps to attach piping on the bottom of our pajama pant as well. After touching the piping, place your pajama pieces like this and make sure both the right sides are facing each other and then sew like this. After sewing, fold it from center and as you can see we have our two leg pieces and now sew like this. Now our pant is almost ready, we just have to attach our elastic. Now cut your elastic according to your measurement and sew both the ends of the elastic and then attach it on your pant. Fold and then again fold it according to your elastic measurement. However, I didn't have a lot of fabric so I first zigzag stitched my top and then I folded it according to my elastic. And I also lost the footage of hemming the shirt. You just have to double fold the bottom of the shirt and then sew it. And now our pajama set is absolutely ready and it's actually looking really cute.